the entrances with the OVW on the stone cutting, stone masonry. And this is one of my pieces here. These are Roman letters. They will be Michael Biggs' letters. He would have carved Arbor Hill, the proclamation on it. So they start us off on Roman letters, because if you can understand Roman letters, you can branch out from there. So they would have been drawn with a chisel, a chisel brush, so I held that 30 degrees, we'd say, so it was up and wide back down. So this is the letter form you're learning, and then obviously the carving is only a touch of the work that goes into drawing them. You won't be able to get these letters, we say, on a computer. They're originally from a letter press, so they're very unique to learn. Once you have them on your effect, you can branch out to other letters like copper plate or whatever it may be you're into. This is my not work layout. I haven't it carved yet. I'm just making happy with what I want to put on the corners. So it's a, it's a long process. I'll have to paint them afterwards. I'm going to go leaf the A and gild it. So I'll paint the rest of the letters in it. be it. This um, piece here is a flat bottom letter. So you can see it's just flat, it's not B. So I had to do a piece before I'd done another bigger project, which would have been the curry sign of the college. Would you be afraid to challenge that at my stage of my apprenticeship? So I'd done this piece first to see how it looked. So it's no such thing as a practice piece. So you do a piece that you can keep, you know, because so much time goes into it, you don't want to waste. You don't want to waste, obviously, the piece and the piece of slate, unless it goes horribly wrong. You know. Yeah, and this is another piece as well, which would have been I was disciplining myself to do letters at this size, at my stage of my apprenticeship. So I done the piece. I actually wrote my name out 19 times before we were happy with it, before we cared. And then that's my mason's mark, which is gold leaf. Another practice piece that would have been done before I go leave the main project. And the urn is the same. You would have had to do all the research on the urn and the bull, the bull rush so you know what you're drawing and you're carving. You can't just carve it not knowing what it is. So again that's for another bigger piece that I disciplined myself to see what it looked like before I committed to the full piece. And then you have this here which is John O'Brien that's gold leaf as well. We use gold leaf rather than paint because it lasts for a hundred years as opposed to paint. It only lasts three years. So it's the map of Ireland, the Drummer Hair District, in the area of you would have covered. And these are from the islands, the iconic thing or monumental things on the island. So we carved them into it uh, to give it a bit of art and through it. You know. This is a, one of the first pieces I made when I started here. So I would have started with a full block of limestone, it's Kikenny limestone. And then you carve in this way, carve in that way to get the chain link. So it would have looked like that as I was carving. <clears throat> and the dangerous part here would be getting through, that you break this, but once you get that loose, it's actually a nice project to do. It's a good discipline. So that side is pol polished and this side is left it on. Yeah, so that's the way. This is a, a rock fleet. They're choosing which one they want to put on, so it's a shelter coat, it's a protective coat. This will be part of the stone masonry side of the apprenticeship. So that's one line to sand at 0.5 of putting. It protects the building from the stone and dries it out, so the line is flexible and absorbs water and lets it back out. So that's the shelter coat to go on to rock leaves, so they just have to choose which one. They're slightly different sands, so as you can see, it makes a big difference. It's just a different sand in colour. That's it. So this is just the, the loose wall in here, so it needs to be. This is why it needs to be placed in and, and laid. As opposed to, you see how it here is all laid, nice and solid. You build all your stones in the way, on their bed. It's not face bed. For example, that would be face bed, which is a no-no. And then we will place the sod on top with a taram underneath. Stop it. Um, moisture can get out. 